ऑनरेबल पीएम मोदी एड्रेस वेबिनार ऑन डिफेंस आत्मनिर्भर भारत एंड इट कम्स ड्यूरिंग द ऑन गोइंग रशिया यूक्रेन कॉन्फ्लिक्ट नाउ व्हाट डू द डिफेंस एक्सपर्ट्स हैव टू से अबाउट इट टू टॉक ऑन दिस टॉपिक विद अस वी हैव लेफ्टिनेंट जनरल वीजी खंडारे हु टिल रिसेंट टाइम्स हैड द रिस्पांसिबिलिटी ऑफ मिलिट्री एडवाइजर टू एनएससीएस एंड हु आल्सो प्लेड एन इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन आत्मनिर्भर भारत इनिशिएटिव्स सो व्हाट वुड यू लाइक टू से द पीएम वाज वेरी क्लियर दैट आत्मनिर्भर भारत इनिशिएटिव्स आर द वे फॉरवर्ड ही स्पेसिफिकली मेंशनड दैट for the new types of war where technology changes very fast our processes have to improve the timelines have to be compressed he also said that uh, the kind of importing systems that we had used to create a lot of confusion there were corruption charges which used to get initiated and he also said that for the fundamental of a country's security Uh, our country must customize its own requirement and that would lead to a lot of surprise and keep the enemy guessing as to what kind of equipment we have and uh, the prime minister in a sense is going ahead of the timelines which are normally followed he mentioned that uh, from 1st april the new budget would be in place so he's given a month to the stakeholders the various stakeholders and he said you plan everything and from 1st april uh, you got to get uh, your act right and one more important thing is that everyone is a stakeholder including the private sector and he praised the armed forces also for taking so much of initiative he praised the defense ministry which has issued a list of or two lists of over 200 uh, products which can be manufactured in india so i think uh, the prime minister is giving very positive strokes to all the people and uh, trying to encourage them to go the atmanirbhar way and uh, also uh, to encourage the export so he said make in india and make for the world when most of the defense equipments are being imported what does the mod have in mind when they are saying defense exports the first thing which the mod is saying that we all have to come together and take a resolve that we will not import our first option will be to make it in india then automatically the investment start coming the foreign technology starts coming here so every possible effort will be made to ensure that our uh, imports have to reduce and to that extent in this year's budget the mod has got Uh, or earmarked the kind of allocation where 68% of the budget has been kept for capital acquisitions for indigenous products i think that's a very big thing so when we are saying that you were instrumental in many of the atmanirbhar projects or startups can we name few of them that have progressed ahead the uh, biggest landmark which has happened in the last Two years or so is the corporatization of the Ordnance Factory Board, and uh, uh, there is uh, in the last one year s- seven new DPSUs have come out of the 41 Ordnance Factories which were existing earlier. And uh, today it was announced that uh, one of those uh, seven DPSUs, the one which is located in Pune. regarding munitions they have bagged uh, an export order which is a very big thing for the new dpsu to do so i think uh, the dpsus are also getting encouraged so that is the first part about the ordnance factory board the second thing is about the drdo what came out was uh, the chairman drdo very clearly mentioned that all his laboratories are open to the private sector and despite covid restriction the private sector has been using uh, the facilities uh, what is important and what the private as well as the public sector and the government officials have brought out that to reduce timelines more testing facilities more facilities to uh, ensure that uh, we don't queue up and we are waiting for testing so more facilities are going to come up 
and the deputy chief of the army was very categoric in mentioning that the indian armed forces want indigenization and he gave out very practical uh, suggestions so overall the uh, private sector the services the ministry officials everyone was uh, quite uh, encouraging uh, when we say mod let us remember that the services are also a part of the defense sector so even the services are taking a lot of lead defense equipments with international standards international quality so how is the technology going to develop that the international users want this is the exact thing which was highlighted that the first choice uh, for uh, purchases from indian defense market will be only if we achieve the quality of global standard and cost competitiveness so that is a challenge for the indian defense industry to be able to come to meet both these otherwise we will not be able to make a mark and that is where the advice is that these teams have to be inclusive the users have to give their advice maybe those people who have retired will also get employed in these uh, fields the private sector will have to take the inputs from the users because they are the people who know what is best whether we reach there or not whether the covid has a major dampener impact uh, but i think overall the direction is correct and uh, while the direction is correct now is the time for all of us put together to create a path to reach the target which has been specified by the prime minister this was lieutenant general vg khandare the former military advisor to nscs explaining what does the mod have in mind about the defense atmanirbhar bharat with kamaran gopal harne jis pankaj khelkar in pune for india today